During human history, songs emerge as threads that weave emotions, memories, and aspirations into a harmonious narrative. They articulate a wide range of human feelings. They reflect our deepest fears and hopes for the future, and often tell the collective story of many. Today, you will discover the story of Nomi Shemer, the first lady of Israeli song and poetry, and analyze her texts which reflect the struggles, dreams, and triumphs of the Israeli people. Nomi Shemer is best known for her famous song, Jerusalem of Gold, which became an anthem of hope and longing for Jerusalem during challenging times. Three weeks after Shemer's song about Jerusalem was first performed, the Six-Day War broke out. On June 7, 1967, when the Jewish people returned to the holy places in Jerusalem, she added this new verse to her song. We have returned to the cisterns and to the marketplace. A shofar calls out on the Temple Mount in the Old City. One more song written by Nomi Shemer in 1973 that became a symbol of the Yom Kippur War was Lu Yehi, May It Be. Lu Yehi is an Israeli version of the famous Let It Be song by the Beatles. Nomi Shemer wrote the lyrics during the first days of the war, expressing hope and prayers that the soldiers would come home in peace. This is the end of summer, the end of the path. Allow them to return safely here. All that we seek, may it be. Nomi Shemer was not just a songwriter, she was a storyteller. Today, Nomi Shemer's music continues to echo through the ages and connect people to the spirit of Israel.